Hello there, this is Terrence Thomas, Hardstyle Golf Conditioning. Today I want to take a couple of minutes to share with you a very important concept when it relates to golf performance. And this is called the Domino Fitness Effect. To give you an example of where I'm headed with this concept, I want to share with you a quick story. There's this billionaire factory worker and this guy is making hundreds of millions of dollars a day with this particular business that he has. It's in a factory environment and one day there was a huge problem with his manufacturing plant and the whole operation shut down. It essentially ceased. Of course this business owner did begin to panic and immediately called the expert repair guy that he knew that could potentially fix the job. So the guy comes in and he walks in, looks around, surveys the plant, walks right over to the area that he suspects where the problem is, pulls out a screwdriver, turns it, everything starts working beautifully. Obviously the business owner is then elated, he's loving life, he's happy, he's, he's back in business, everything's peachy keen, hunky-dory. Until the repair guy hands him the bill. He hands him a bill for $20,000 and this business owner is appalled and he's outrageous, he's upset, he's going, what did I just pay for? You were here for only five minutes. I want to itemize statement about what you did. So the repair guy goes, sure, give me a piece of paper. Whips out his paper, whips out his pen, he goes, on the paper it said, turning the screw. One dollar. Knowing which screw to turn, nineteen thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. So the point is, is that if you can determine which screw to turn or the key or highest priority aspect of your golf performance to focus on first, it will essentially set the tone or take care of everything else from there. So what I want to do is I'm going to take you outside and show you what I feel is one of the key screws or preeminent fitness concepts that you need to master when it comes to your golf swing. So to continue on with this concept of the fitness domino effect, I want to discuss, if not the most important movement pattern when it comes to the golf swing, which is essentially the bend pattern, which is either your adjust position while you're putting, you're chipping, pitching, driving, etc. If there is a deficit in your ability to perform this movement pattern, your golf swing is going to be compromised, no ifs, ands, or buts. So the key concept that you want to think about when it comes to the bend pattern is what we call hip-spine dissociation, or in this case, coordination. When you bend over, it, it's imperative that you maintain a proper relationship between your pelvis and your spine. This is where most all injuries occur. If there is a lack of coordination between your pelvis and your lower back, your, your risk of injury is going to go up tremendously. So I'm going to teach you a drill that you can do right before you swing that's going to improve this pattern or just coordinate your brain with this part of your body. Simple, you can either use a dowel rod, or in this case, you, or your driver if you're about to tee off. If you happen to have a broomstick, it works just the same. So the key here, you want to make sure that this pole or your, your club is splitting your cheeks in two. Okay? It's going to be right in the back of your head. Your knee is going to be slightly bent. Your hand is going to be right in the small of your back. And that's where it stays. If you're in the right position, you should have space right behind your neck and right behind your lower back. And from here, you're just going to bend forward, hinging from the hips. Okay? If I'm doing this correctly, my stick should maintain the exact position as I bend forward. If I lose my hip to lower back coordination, it's gonna look like this. You see what happened to the stick here? It moved away from my butt. That means that my spine came out of position and this is where it gets ugly. So if you can maintain, no matter how low you can go down, the key is just maintain the position. As you get warmed up, you should be able to go a little bit lower 
and loosen up your hamstrings. Typically the variable in performing this drill correctly is your hamstring flexibility. What happens again is if your hamstrings are tight, as you bend forward, the hamstrings are going to keep your pelvis anchored and it'll force you to bend from your back. And this is where most golfers injure their backs. So the key here is the coordination between your hips and your lower back so that way the spine keeps its what we call instantaneous axis of rotation or where each vertebrae is neatly stacked on top of one another rather than bending like this and exposing your disc to injury. That's going to be the key. So hip spine dissociation and a nice comfortable bend pattern. So this is where coordination can actually override a lack of flexibility if you do it properly. So this is a great one that you can do before you start playing and even to correct tight hamstrings. So let's do it again. You want that stick right in between your cheeks, head on the back of the stick, you should have space between your neck and your lower back, okay? And we just bend your knees slightly. Simple as that. Typically do anywhere from 10 to 15 reps just as a warm up. This is an active flexibility and mobility drill. And you'll find that this will take huge amounts of stress off of your lower back and just prepare you to play your best golf by really priming a key reflex needed for an effective golf swing.